first we're going to draw the star so I'm going to show you that and it looks like this when you finish so first we're going to go file new and we're going to choose the film and video preset because we're making a small film and video and it gives you a perfect size we're going to choose the second option down which is the widescreen and say OK we're going to turn the background black if it isn't already get the paint bucket make sure you've got black selected here if you haven't click it twice and select your colour black and colour it in now we're going to get a new layer and draw a line. So select the line tool, make sure your fill is white and your stroke is white and your weight is about 0.35 centimetre. If you haven't got centimetres or millimetres here, the way to change the scale settings are go to edit preferences and you have a lot of preferences here you can change your grid and your rulers and so on go to the units and rulers and just change everything here to either centimeters or millimeters the, the, the reason for using pixels is, is for when you're writing web pages um, and making banners and that's really useful for that but really we need millimeters and centimeters here so either one will be fine so there we go got the weight there now to make a diagonal line or a horizontal line you need to hold down the shift button on your keyboard so I'm just going to hold that down and you get a perfect diagonal line so now we're going to make this blurry so we go to the filter blur motion blur and say yes you'll rasterize it make that 45 and the distance 15 now you can change this if you make this say 100 you'll see how it changes so change it to I'm going to check, make mine 11 but you make yours whichever you like because it depends on how large you've drawn the line on the paper it's going to zoom in a little bit here Then I'm going to duplicate this by right clicking on it and duplicating it. Then I'm going to flip it, edit, transform, flip horizontally. And then I'm going to join those two together by holding control down on the computer keyboard, selecting both of them and then going control E, which will merge them. Then I'm going to right click on them I'm going to go to the blending options to blend them together more. I'm going to go to the outer glow and put the opacity on 75, the screen onto normal. Change this to white. Now you can change it to any colour you like. I'm going to change it to a colour and you'll see, there you go, you can see it's changed. You can make yours a different colour. You choose one. You can move these all around. So however you like. Just do it according to your own taste. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to make a new layer because I'm going to put behind it a little circle. And there's my new layer. I'm going to get the brush tool, I'm going to get the brush and I'm going to select this brush. The reason I'm choosing this brush, you can see it's got an outer glow and make sure that the colour is white, so change it to white there and I'm going to make this, make it as large as you like. Oops, I don't want the hardness up actually, I want it about 5%. There you go, that's about right. Actually, I'll just put another one on. I should put another three times I've clicked, but you can click it as many. Do it according to your taste. 
Now I'm going to put that in front as you can see that that's in front so that's better because if it was behind you'd see the lines. I'm going to now merge those two, control E and I now have one layer. I'll zoom out a little bit and that's quite a nice star. So now we've drawn our star and that's the first stage.